Hey, this is Jeff again with Evolve Adventures, ReadGuideService.com, R-E-I-G-U-I-D-E-S-E-R-B-I-C.com. Wanted to do a real quick video and talk about what it is that you let into your life. And let's just talk about that. I was actually just driving along and I was thinking about, uh, there was one of those uh, ambulance chasing attorneys on the radio. And I was thinking about how a long time ago, 20 years ago, I got in a pretty severe car accident. The lady swerved, hit me almost head on. I moved at the last minute. It is a pretty big, pretty big deal. I had a severe concussion, headache for years. Pretty big deal. And whenever it was all said and done, the lady didn't have insurance or whatever. So my insurance was the one paying for everything. And then, uh, cause I had uninsured motorists and then they were gonna go after them. So, you know, my rental car, all that kind of stuff. I was very fortunate. All that stuff was taken care of through my insurance company that I had at the time. It was a great deal. But then I had headaches and stuff, but I had to go to work, right? Like I couldn't not go to work. I couldn't not make money. I couldn't tell all these customers and employees and people that relied on me in, in different ways and different levels that I couldn't be there for them. Now, in hindsight, I have seen people in far less severe accidents sue insurance companies and make quite a substantial amount of money. I mean, I, I have had major headaches, uh, some pretty severe headache issues. Let's just leave it at that for now. But I probably could have gotten a lot of money. And I think to myself, wow, that's a lot of money I've missed out on. And then I immediately go, no, no, kick that thought out. Because I would have had to let that into my life. The I'm injured, the I can't work, I can't do as much as I would be able to do if not for this wreck. So I would have to give over part of myself, my identity to being the person who got in a wreck and let that affect them. And most people don't know that I got in this accident. Most people that I did business with at the time, I missed about a week's worth of work. Um, I had a staff, thankfully at the time, that covered for me. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty severe accident and most people don't know because it's not something that I let into my life. I didn't want to have to deal with going to court and I didn't want to have to deal with lawyers and I didn't want to have to deal with all of this stuff. All in all, I think I got about $10,000 out of their insurance as like their first offer basically. Um, at the time, my medical bills and everything else were a little bit more than that. I just did not want to argue. I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to let that into my life. It was going to consume time. It was going to take a lot of time for me to do that. And then let's say it takes a year, a year of me having to proclaim I'm not able. I am hurt. I am, you know, wait. And then you, you start to spend that money. Your lawyer's pumping you up for all this money you're going to get. And I am going to buy this and I am going to buy that. And it just becomes part of your identity. You let it in to who you are and slowly those choices over time, that's just who you are. It's not, it's not things that are being let into who you are. It is just who you are. And I think that I've been very blessed and very fortunate that for whatever the reasons, I, I don't, I wouldn't say I have some sort of like super strong moral compass. I would say that I really do weigh things out. Um, I've weighed out, Hey, is it, should I do things the wrong way? What's the consequences for that? What, what's the benefits from that? Is there, is there an advantage or is there, so I'm not just like, Oh, I don't even let negative thoughts come into my head or anything like that. It certainly does. There's certainly times where I've thought about shortcuts that could be taken to make me more profit and benefit myself short term. But I've had the foresight to think a little further, like, okay, but what are the consequences? And I've seen some of these things that I've thought about doing, I've waited long enough to make any kind of decision, just kind of put it in the back of my brain and kind of stewing on it long enough that I've seen other people fall prey to trying to take that shortcut. And then I see what happens to them and I go, oh, okay, good. I'm glad I didn't, glad I didn't do that. I, I thought it seemed weird. I'm glad I hesitated, but there's been a lot of that gut feeling and, and just trying to always do the right thing and not being in a rush to try to be rich and successful. Just be in a rush to try to do the best you can every day, to, to check regularly that your actions are matching what your goals are. And if your goals are just to get rich off of a car accident, then by all means, if someone hits you, go for it. It, it takes a lot of investment of your energy. 
for that to happen. But if that is what your goal is, then hey, go for it. I'm not, I'm not gonna be smart your goal. But my goals weren't involved with that. So when opportunities for other things come along, when, when shortcuts present themselves, when I just, I go, you know what? It's gonna take time away from my goals because my goals are that strong and I'm that passionate about continuing and succeeding at those goals that those shortcuts don't even really look appetizing because they don't look like shortcuts. They look like a shortcut to maybe some sort of success, but they're not a shortcut to my goal. Be blessed, bless others. We got service. Calm. Later.